Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Guess what? It's Scrawler Box Day! <laughs> I love Scrawler Box Day. And this one, it's got a huge lump there. I mean that must have only just just passed through the uh, large letter size this time I would imagine. I think it's supposed to be two and a half centimetres. It's definitely, they're definitely pushing the pushing it there. So I'm dying to see now a little bird has already told me, Zoe, <laughs> that she thinks I'm going to like this one. So I'm super intrigued. Should we have a look? Let's, let's cut the waffle and just get straight in there. I'll bring you down a little bit. Okay, I'm going in. I love this bit. I like to, make, I like to keep myself in suspenders for as long as possible. Oh, lovely colours, lovely bright spring feeling colours and a very lumpy supplies package. Let's put that to one side for a minute. Yeah, but you know, I was just thinking the other day that collage is one thing that they, they haven't really done. I wonder if... Mm, that's intriguing, isn't it? Who is this? Kerry Lemon, Brighton-based artist. I'll show you her. There's her socials. Love that, love the textures and colours and things in there. I'm just, I'm intrigued to know what the, yeah, what the supplies are going to be. It's difficult to tell from there for, for me. There's the scene, I'm going to put that to one side because otherwise I'll, <laughs> I'll spoil my surprise. And here we've got mixed media, textured paper, Canson. We'll have a good look at that in a minute. So shall we go in? I'm so excited. I'm always excited opening the scroller box. Organic Origins. You always get a sticker. You always get what I call the menu card with a challenge on it and details about all the supplies on there. Ooh. You always get a sweetie. This looks like a sherbet lemon, which is one of my favourite things. I won't eat that quite yet. And it's nice how they, they tend to colour scheme them with the you know, to fit the theme of the box. This looks intriguing. So this is fluid acrylic. Oh, I'm going to love this. So we've got cerulean blue, lemon yellow and titanium white fluid acrylic. I've used golden fluid acrylics before. So this isn't acrylic ink, it's fluid acrylic paint, I'm assuming high flow acrylic with light fast pigments water resistant shake well before use clean nozzle after this <laughs> this is going to be excited to play with isn't it <laughs> and what's this lyra markle i'm assuming that's a black permanent marker two millimeter okay and then we've also got a brush an angular shader quite a useful shape actually because you can get into little corners and things with that Feels lovely that one. Princeton. Okay, let's put the tissue to one side because I will use that again and we'll have a bit of a swatch. So I should probably have explained this before I went in, but um, if you're if you happen to be watching this and you don't know, Scrawler Box is a monthly art supplies subscription box. You get um, a curated collection of art supplies. It's a complete mystery what you're going to get and we all try, when we're waiting for our scroller box to arrive, we all try not to see any spoilers on social media because half the fun of it is opening up to see what you've got to play with. It's brilliant for people like me who've already got a room full of supplies because uh, it makes you try things you might not try otherwise. And it comes with a challenge that it takes you outside your, your comfort zone a little bit sometimes. And uh, But it's also great for beginners because each box is kind of self-contained. If you've got nothing else at all, you will be able to you'll have everything you need to have a go. I think at the moment the monthly uh, price is £18.95 but it's cheaper if you buy a longer subscription. If you're considering subscribing to Scholar Box, I'll put a link below in the description and if you follow that link you'll, you'll get £3 off your first box and I'll get some Scholar points as well which is always nice of me. <laughs> so uh, I'll do that and uh, or, you know just go and have a look on the website. Now if you a week from today I'm doing another Saturday night in with Artie Farty Annie live stream here on YouTube. It's so it's next week, the fourth 
Saturday the 4th of March from 8 p.m. UK time to 10 p.m. UK time. Um, it's a special one for my birthday, so we've got three giveaways. Uh, we've got a special guest, Chris Lambert, the founder of Scholar Box, is going to do a little guest appearance and answer questions. If you've got any questions for him, pop them in the comments below. So we've got three giveaways, two Scholar Boxes, one mystery one is being donated very kindly by uh, Chris from Scholar Box. One is being donated by me, and that's the um, August 2022 one that had the Sennelier oil pastels in. It's one of my favourites, so I thought it's nice to give that one away. And I'm also going to be giving away one of my hand-stitched art journal wraps. Um, this is my own one. I will be custom making one for the winner. So I'll leave. You can enter the giveaways now. Um, I will leave details about that in the description as well. Let's go. Let's go back and have another look. So I think first thing is to get into into this uh, sketch pad. So we've had frisk papers a lot, which I love in the uh, school box. Be interesting to try a Canson one. So it's um, 300 GSM, so it's going to be a pretty heavyweight one. 10 sheets, A5, mixed media, um, medium grain. Oh, nice. It's got a kind of quite a nice texture to it. I like that. That makes a change to have that kind of lined texture. It's like on the other side and on the other side, it's quite smooth. And it's certainly, yeah, a good weight of paper. Now, I think maybe just before I try these out, I will have a quick look in the scholars in because that will give me some quick hints on the back of the menu card. You get um, the sort of how much these things would cost if you bought them all separately and details about the supplies um, but you get a quick summary in here as well love the colors for spring that's nice isn't it spring is definitely in the air this this month angle of brush blah 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 pour it up this paint can be used straight from the bottle or used on a palette i'll probably try both spiral bound plenty for swatching practicing and your final scholar challenge Oh, where's the prompt? Let's have a look at that. I'm a bit scatty with my <laughs> scatty with my unboxing. It's a bit, bit overexcited this time. Organic origins, deep rooted in nature, stems from an abundance of that sentence isn't making sense to me. Deep rooted in nature stems from an abundance of inspiration. This box is all about embracing your surroundings to see what natural formations you can create. Paint, splat, and pour your craft onto the page with your new supplies. Or just like Kerry Lemon, our featured artist, use a leaf. Oh, did she actually press the leaf on? Or, or actually paint onto the leaf? Yeah, maybe she did. Okay, we'll probably find out in here. So here's the featured artist. Oh, she looks fun, doesn't she? Oops. Oh. Very interesting work. This looks like a feather she's used there. Tea or coffee or none. Buckets of both, please. Constantly, but not after 2pm. And dirty diet sodas too. The dirty diet sodas. We can see you like working with a variety of different art mediums. Which one would you say expresses you the best? <laughs> Can't choose and it constantly changes. I know that feeling. I enjoy having a good read of that later. So things to try. This is what I thought I'd have a quick look at before I swatch. So you can create a wash if you add water. I'll go and get some, before I do the swatch. All oh, right, I've got some water there. Mark making. So you're getting different kinds of marks and things with the marker. That's interesting to try. See what new colours, shades and tones you can, you can create using a palette. I'll mix just straight onto here. Create texture. Lots of fun ways to create texture. Use a leaf. <laughs> Definitely a leaf onto the paint and then onto the page. Yes. And use salt. I like doing that. And once it's dry, you brush the salt off and you get this lovely texture left behind. Once dry, the paints won't reactivate with water. That's good to know. Adding white will make them more opaque. Rip, scrunch and layer up pages of textures and marks to create unique visual elements to your work. I like the idea of doing that. Um, perhaps seeing what different, um, just play with the paint, with the paints. Create lots of different textures and then collage it all together. I think, uh, yeah, I think that'd be really fun. It's right up my street. Oops, I lost my place. So she talks about how she did it here and then puts it all together. Yeah, I love doing that kind of thing. And then she's dotted on and use the marker over it afterwards. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this one. Zoe, you are absolutely right. Right, this was um, 
two months ago, I'm trying to remember, Chaos Confined. Is well. So we got these amazing um, Edding paint markers and the featured artist was Mr. Phil. Yeah, Chaos Confined, I really, really enjoyed this one. Now I've just got to see, there's Carmel, one of the top three. Well done, Carmel. Carmel's uh, one of my fellow collaborators in our upcoming collab. Um, it's only a couple of days now. Our big reveal date is the 28th of Feb, so watch out for that. Um, Carmel's only just joined us, so she'll be new to us this time. So the Inspired by Alice collab, have a look out for that on on the 28th. Love all these. Some, they were so inspired. I mean, the I just love the colours. It just makes me makes me happy just to look at all these colours. Oh, some lovely pieces here and all so different as always. And there's a few pages, a few um, names I don't actually recognise. So always oh, Katie Riles. What a great gallery, eh? Those, those colours just make my heart sing. <laughs> my mouth water. <laughs> and so they don't usually feature this. So this is their top three. Each month we pick our favourite Scrawler Challenge artworks to feature in this section. They don't usually feature them in the, and they get 300. Yeah, I was, cause I was one of the top three a while, a while back and I was really surprised to get those, those 300. It's worth a few quid and you can use it off another box or other things from their shop. But yeah, worth having. And they seem build up. I didn't realise this till recently. As soon as you subscribe, you can refer, you can, you can use your refer a friend code. And if somebody uses your link, you get scholar points for it. If you do a review, they email you and say, please review the, your box. That gets you another 20 school reports. So they soon add up, they soon add up. It's worth doing. It's nice that they're gonna feature the um, the top three in the, in the magazine. I think that's a really nice idea. And they have, yeah, they have a very strong community on uh, Facebook and Instagram as well. Lots of read there. So it's always a nice little read the magazine. Okay, so, um, what I'm going to do is just use one of these pages to start swatching, but then I can use it to tear up for my collage later on. So you always in every box, you always get some kind of surface to work on. It's usually a paper pad, but sometimes it'll be a little journal. I love last month's. So it was like a concertina sketchbook. Brilliant. Still using that. And um, a couple of times we've had things like artboard. Yeah, but there'll always be something to work on as well as the, as well as the supplies. Um, Right, okay, I'm going to use this water. I think this is clean enough. Let's just make sure. Yeah, it's fine. And then we've got this Markle. I've never heard of these. I know the, the name Lyra. I feel like I'm more used to seeing it on pencils. I'm going to try this first. Oh, it's one of, so it's going to be one of these, it's like a paint marker that you have to uh, give a good shake and then pump it to prime it. This is going to be another one of my favourites, this one. I didn't get on quite so well with last month's. I loved the sketchbook. Um, didn't get on so well with the pencils on that paper. Really enjoyed the ballpoint pen with the with the blender. I quite enjoyed what I did with that. But I just, yeah, it wasn't, all the supplies I went juicy already. Let's get some different, um, like I said, lots of different marks. This is a permanent marker, so probably if I was quick, Yeah. Yeah. If you're quick you can you can move it but once it's dry it's gonna be permanent. Okay. It stays wet for quite a while though because it is quite juicy. I might sometimes use the smoother side. I don't always like don't always like a lot of texture. I think it'd be interesting with this, but but then you've always got that option. Okay, it's a lovely dense black. Okay, right. <laughs> this is my usual haphazard kind of swatching style. Let's try this lovely bright yellow. Oh, I'm gonna be careful. Not sure what I'm gonna. Is it sealed? No, it looks like, because sometimes with these nozzle things you have to cut the top off, don't you? But I don't know if you have to with this. Oh, no, you definitely don't. <laughs> okay, lovely yellow. I don't know, did I shake that up well enough? It feels quite thick. All right, I'm going to see what it's like if I just go straight down. Oh, I've got some black in there now. Oh, it is a 
really lovely yellow. It's kind kind of more more lemon than it's looking on my camera to me. Very very pigmented. That's just going miles. Look. And of course, if I did want to deliberately mix it with some of that black, I could I could get a kind of tones off, couldn't I? And then I can go. What I'm going to do is just spread out some black here because I want to be able to try these colours and the white against the plain black as well. So I'll just leave that to dry a minute. Right, let's try the blue. So this is cerulean blue. Can't get the top off. Cool. Let's try. So if you want to get little dots, that's going to take a bit of practice, that is, to get neat little dots. Oh, I'm thinking mandala would be fun. You could like paint in the base of it and then go back over with decorative things and, and you know using it straight from the bottle is going to be a lot of fun um, but I'm going to enjoy using it just as a paint as well I think I'm gonna love these now I've had this system 3 acrylic before I've had it I've got some um, of their heavy body paints i think we might have got some in the school and then i went and bought some other colors because i really like them so it's a de la Rowney brand really like them really really like these zoe you were right i love them <laughs> just want to see i want to see as well how opaque this yellow is over the black and it really is <gasps> oh my word i'm gonna the more I make it, the, the, the more I think about it, the more I know I'm going to look at them over the black. Oh, wow. Okay, let's try. Oh, let's try the white. Hang on. Right, I want to try mixing some now. I mean, it's so convenient, isn't it, as well, just to use it as a paint, you know, not rather than just straight from the tube. Really fun colour combo as well to use. It does say about wiping the nozzle after use, so I will do it. As soon as I finish this swatching, I will uh, wipe off those nozzles carefully. OK, so say I just wanted to just use a little bit of this... You can actually kind of blend it on the page. It's quite nice. That's a very beautiful green. In real life, it's much prettier than it's looking on my camera. I don't know why my camera does not. It's something to do with my lighting rather than the camera, probably. So that's if I mix the blue and the green. Let's just do a kind of a... It's lovely that even if I wash it, if I... If I make it really watery like that to get a wash, it's a wash, but it's still still got a vibrancy of, of colour, which I love. These are really nice. So let's say I wanted to mix the blue with some white and get a kind of a more of a pastel version and also more opaque. Yep, add some yellow. And that actually even quite watered down like that, it's still 
it's covering pretty well I'm reactivating the black that's underneath that permanent marker now now it'd be interesting to see I'm going to let them dry up like that I'm assuming they will flatten out as they dry but I'm very interested to see what they do it'd be lovely if they kept some of that raised quality I don't think they will I am going to have a lot of fun with this now I need a bit that's dry I haven't got any that's dry to keep this to try this out on what so now we need to have another look at the challenge to make more sense of it this is going to be one of my yeah this is going to be one of my favorite ones Zoe's absolutely right it's right up my street still can't make sense of that first sentence though it's like they missed a bit or something look deep rooted in nature stems from an abundance of inspiration this box is all about embracing your surroundings to see what natural formations you can create paint splat and pour your craft onto the page with your new supplies or just like Kerry Lemon our featured artists use a leaf might be interesting to try getting not just a leaf but some other things I find outside and try some uh, stamping with them what I really love the idea of is just creating collage papers just really really let let rip with these uh <laughs> with these pages and in all the different ways create some lovely um organic shapes and things tear them up and create and, and make them into a into a collage one of the things i often love to do is to actually um use the box um so i might i might break up the box as well and use that to add elements to my to my collage I don't worry too much if I want to cheat a little bit you know um, I don't think using the box is cheating but if if say you know obviously I need a glue stick or something to put a collage together so that's not cheating to me um, if I wanted to use a pencil and there doesn't happen to be one in the box this month then <laughs> obviously using something from outside like a leaf that's not cheating so. so the idea basically with the challenge is to use the supplies that are in the box but I think if you throw you know if you need a different brush or a pencil or a something else like that that's not in the box then that's fine <laughs> I leave that to fester in my brain for a little while before I start my challenge I've got quite a lot to do we've got our finish up my my first collab piece ready for the big reveal on Tuesday and um I've got some work to do towards the live next Saturday so um I've got quite a lot on but I'm going to leave this ticking away in the back of my mind and I'll come back in a couple of days and do my challenge piece or at least my first challenge piece brilliant box another another just another stonker <laughs> I just I say it every every time I'm I'm a massive fan of a scroller box so I'm very excited to be able to give away a couple of boxes next week because I genuinely think school is the best art, art subscription box out there I really do so let me know what did you think did you get the box are you still waiting do you think you're going to enjoy this one as something it is something really different isn't it you know I think a lot of us went and tried these before and um it is right up my street so uh yeah let me know what you think and thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you again really soon <laughs> I don't want to do all the other stuff now I want to get in and play with that